Brokti Hawa Brokata, Yeho Sha, Brokti Hawa Brokata, Yeho Sha, Basham, Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled The Enemy. Video was inspired from the TikTok platform APRN Beauty. Very use. And that level. What up, Nurse Gang? What up, TikTok? So, I, I really, it breaks my heart when I got to make videos like this, and it breaks my heart when I, when I see this, <sighs> you know, people usually hide when they're, you know, racist in healthcare, but when they just jump right out with it, it's just so disgusting. Um, a medical student, a med student, not even a nurse, a med student actually not a black med student either sent me this and they were mortified they said they saw this and they were you know they couldn't believe what they saw this is a nurse travel nurse so she says i mean <laughs> nowadays you never know on the internet but mocking sickle cell patients and sickle cell is a trait mainly found in Jake and also so-called Sicilians who are Jake based on the lineage of their fathers. Jackson, Mississippi. Oof. Oof. I can't handle that level of racism that go on down there. Jackson, Mississippi, when they don't get their dilaudid and she's showing how she says bye to them. We're gonna watch the video and sickle cell is a debilitating disease, debilitating. Sickle cell patients often say that they get discriminated against when they go into hospitals trying to get medicated. It's disgusting. And to see a nurse flat out online saying how she dismisses them when they don't get their dilaudid, wow. Wow. And then I happen to go to her page and scroll down and see she says, oh, you know, I'm a Trump supporter. I can't wait till Trump gets reelected so he can give us epic nationally. When I get on this Internet and I say nurses should never be for Trump, nurses being for Trump are dangerous. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. You goddamn wish you would have played your cards right with me. I will see you in fucking hell, you fucking asshole, you fucking liar, you fucking manipulator, you goddamn wish you would have played your cards right with me. I will see you in f Let's go to Genesis chapter 25 and verse 21. And Isaac entreated Yahweh for his wife because she was barren, and Yahweh was entreated of him and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of Yahweh via a prophet. And, and Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in your womb, so-called white people and so-called black people, so-called Hispanic people, and so-called Native American people. Okay, so the progenitor of so-called white people is Esau, and the progenitor of so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native American Native Americans is Jacob. Okay, he is our forefather, and this is only based on the lineage of our fathers. And Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in your womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from your bowels. And we can break down that mannerism, the wicked and the righteous. The Israelites are the righteous, and the wicked are who? The Edomites. Okay? Two manner of people. The wicked are carnal. And the righteous are spiritual. 
So again, and Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in your womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from your bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people. The Israelites are stronger than the Edomites. And the elder, meaning the Edomites, shall serve the younger, the Israelites, in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so two manner of people was in the womb of um, of Rebecca. So let's go to Genesis chapter 27. And this is after we had received the blessing going into the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of Yahushai. Now peep the mindset of Esau. Genesis 27 and 34. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and ex exceeding bitter cry and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. And he said, Your brother came with subtility and has taken away your blessing. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he has supplanted me these two times. Okay, so Jacob goes into the term supplant. All right? Hence, Yaiguab. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he has taken away my blessing. And he said, Have you not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him your Lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants. Okay? And with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now to you, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Have you but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. He's a fucking crybaby. All right, so let's jump down to the point. Forty-two. 41 so like it. and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him and Esau said in his heart the days of mourning for my father are at hand then I will then will I slay my brother and that's the mindset of Esau beginning with the nobility of Edom okay the international bankers that control this entire system they know who they are it's like it. They know who they are, and they know who we are, okay? And that's the game plan going into the New World Order is the takeover because they want the blessing. They want the kingdom of heaven. So they're trying to create a synthetic blessing where they can have total rulership, and it will never happen, okay? It will never happen. And the mindset, again, of Esau then will I slay my brother Jacob. So per reincarnation, per reincarnation, this is the mindset. This woman is targeting sickle cell patients who are mainly Jake, okay? Mainly Jake. That is a trait common found in Jake. And that's why it's extremely important to be able to identify your enemy. Let's go to Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And within this concept, you have Israelites that don't understand who they are. Don't understand who Yahweh and Yahweh Shah are. Hell, they don't even understand that so-called white people are their enemy. My people are the store for lack of knowledge, and this is the reason why they're destroyed. So instead of going more so to an herbal route or an herbal alternative, they choose to go straight into the oppressor, straight into the hospital where their enemy continues to poison them, okay? My people are the story for lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. I will also reject you that you shall be no priest of me. Sin, you have forgotten the law of your power. I will also forget your children. But the point is, my people are the story for lack of knowledge. So 
Psalm 83 and verse 1. For lo, your enemies make a tumult, and they that hate you have lifted up the head, meaning Esau is ruling now. And these other nations are in concert with Esau. They're joint heirs with Esau. That's the reason why they're able to benefit within this blessing. They have taken crafty counsel against your people and consulted against your hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against you. And when you continue to read, the first nation listed are the Edomites trickling down to these other nations. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus chapter 12 and verse 10. Never trust your enemy for like as iron rust, so is his wickedness. It's only a matter of time until iron begins to rust. And it's the same way with the Edomites. It's only a matter of time before wickedness scratch the surface and they show you who they truly are. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and you shall be unto him as if you have wiped a looking glass, and you shall know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away, because in his spirit is set up, it's instructed of him to do wicked. So yeah, he may do little things, give you a promotion, open the door for you, take you out to lunch. Okay, let you out when you're trying to pull into traffic. But at the same time frame, that man is the wicked. And eventually, if you are around him or her long enough, okay, you will see their wickedness. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come near wild beasts? So one they go to a sinner and is defiled with him and sins, who will pity? And that's the point. So again, our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. They continue to run to these hospitals, these church systems, okay, voting, not knowing that hell who you're putting in office is controlled by the wicked, which is your enemy. Exodus chapter 17 and 14. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Moses, Write this for a, a memorial in a book and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. And under heaven is what? The earth. So after a thousand years in the kingdom of heaven, okay, all Edomites will be collected and burned. Verse 15. And Moses built an altar and called the name of it Yahweh Nasa. Because there's no eyes in the Hebrew. Hold on, let me see how. Let me just look it up. All right, so for that term, it's actually Strong's H30 and 71, pronounced as from right to left, Yahweh Na Sayah. Yahweh Na Sayah. Okay? That's how you pronounce that. For he said, be, because Yahweh has sworn that Yahweh will have war with Amalek from generation to generation, and Yahweh 
Bahashem Yahushai is the power of Israel. So if the Edomites are an enemy to Yahweh, best believe the Edomites is an enemy to the entire nation of Israel. Knowing or not knowing. Last precept. Proverbs 11 and 21. Do hand join and jan. <laughs> Damn. It's lucky, y'all. Do hand join in hand. The wicked shall not be punished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Do hand join in hand. Doesn't matter if Jake befriend Esau, regardless of the circumstance. Okay, it's a chasm created in the spirit that is manifested on earth and a chasm is what a separation or an opening so us two nations can never be allies in any form or matter one has to be on top and the other has to be on bottom at this time frame we're at the bottom they're at, they're on top and in the kingdom of heaven we will be on top and they will be at the bottom. That's how it is. Lord Will, this was an edifying lesson. Understand your enemy. Shalom.